Hey guys, happy Cinco de Maya, and welcome to Ace Attorney 3 Trials and Tribulations, Part 2. Let's continue. sister of Mia Fei, my friend and mentor. I first met her two years ago. I was working on the case surrounding Mia's death, and ever since then, I've been the one keeping this law office of love and behind the scenes. Actually, that is just to come from her true identity. In reality, she's a spirit of you, and a bit of a shady character. Who are you calling shady? This little girl is Pearl Fay, but I usually call her Pearls. She's Maya's cousin and a spirit medium in training herself. Crane Village is the home of the mysterious crane ch channeling technique, and Maya here is the daughter of the Crane School of Channeling's Master. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's no joke. I've seen her power with my own eyes, and it's the real thing, alright. Earth to neck, how long are you gonna make two gorgeous women like this way? Lordly Taylor, the city's fanciest and most expensive department store.
See if we can find some clues that might be used to the bad guy. But it doesn't look like anything's been disturbed. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same as it did last night. Hmm, bad guy. Hey, you can't poke around here, pal. Wait a minute, that voice. Oh no, not him again. It's you. I'm the one who he's saying not again. Why is it every time something bad happens, you show up, pal? I should be asking you that. Are there any other detectives? No, I should be asking you that. What are you doing hanging around here? Hey, I asked you first. Alright, you got it. It's been a long time. My name is Gumption. Now is a good chance for you to remember it all. Yeah, good to see you again too, I guess. Thank you. 
Times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. Probably because it's air conditioned. Welcome to my private little banquet of chaos. What the heck does that mean? I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. Who are you anyway? Shh, silence! Now I see, it's all become clear. Jason, Zavari! Truth has once again. The lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I wrong? Yikes, that's scary. How do you know that? How are you saying? Universal skeptic would say that how is nothing compared to the question of why. I'm a traveler of both space and time, a swimmer of dreams. What's he talking about? Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any. Myself. The name is Abby. Look at me. He's detective. Um, hi. Don't let him intimidate you, Nick. The name's right. Phoenix right. He's a turn. My fate. He's spirit meeting. And I'm a perfect. Ace Apprentice. Excellent. Well then, shall we begin?
I am Master Master Archenemy, the ace detective Luke at me. At this moment there are two mighty figures which loom large over this grand city. One embodies the nefarious forces of darkness, the other is the angel angelic cherubs of light. What's he saying? I've been personally on the heels of this villain since his first crime. After learning this criminal's patterns, I boarded the very latest loathsome larceny. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow minded assumptions. Man. Right, sorry. Why do I feel like we've had this exact conversation before?
He's right, Nick. He is. Think about really hard where the victims. I guess so, in a way. Um, I'm so used to thinking that the per that the victim is a dead person. Excuse me. But anyway, uh, we have to get the urn back. Please, don't ignore me. Who are you? Um, I. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you're the master mascot? Yeah, I do that. Uh, no, but you see, it's complicated. Well, sort of, yes, it's sort of now. So what's wrong? Well, when you say wrong, it's not right per se. Spell mass D mass, it's actually mass D mass. What's with this guy? I don't need your pity. So why did you give yourself up? Well, you see, it's because, well, I know why. Because you stole such a priceless treasure. No overwhelmed with guilt. Um, I have a little favor to ask. What is it? Could you go and talk to Desi? Look, we really want it back, so where is it? I'm sorry, I'll give it back. Well, maybe not. No, I can't. I can't make promises. I can't. I'll just end up here. I couldn't hear what he said, especially the last part. Did you speak up a little? Yes, sir, I will. I promise. Or maybe not. You see, I'm already speaking in my normal voice, so I can't really do anything. Yes, sir. Right away. Or maybe not. Just tell him to straight. Please, please don't yell at me. I, I'm sorry. I lost it. How'd you lose it? Well, these things just happen. You're on a train, you get distracted, you forget your bag, you know. You forgot her, her sacred urn on the train. You went on a train dressed like that? No, I was just speaking hypothetically, that's all. I'm sorry. sure this guy's messed mess. Ryan, don't call. So who's this Desi person? Please don't talk about my wife like that. The truth is, it was my wife that told me to have you all come here. Could you go visit her at the hideout? Naturally, I meant to say space. Well, my apartment, actually.
Um, Mr. Lawyer? Yes? In the letter that Desi wrote, she said, Ask this guy to be your lawyer. Huh? I know this would be asking a lot, but could you please take my case? My trial starts tomorrow. Hang on a second, he can't be your lawyer. Why not? What do you mean, why not? They're the victims of this case, right? Victims of this Damascus guy. Well, yeah, but according to Desiree, he didn't do it. Poor man's deluded himself into thinking he did. Come on, she's just lying to protect her husband. That could be true. Or not. It's actually hard to say. Oh no, it's spreading. Please, I'll give you the treasure of your choice in return. What are you doing, Nick? He's a thief. You can't trust him. Well, he may be a thief, but I think there's more to this case than we saw. It's a transformer! Sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You couldn't have known she'd react like that. Might as well start investigating. Where's Pearls? She's going back to the office. Go check on her later, would you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine. Here. I believe in you. I know you have a lot of work to do. I really appreciate it.
Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again. Welcome to my abode. We're actually kind of... Silence! Precisely as I expected. What is it? Savari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit leader. Am I correct? Um, Savari didn't do this. So my estimation was correct. Savari! What is this psych lock thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what those secrets are. Present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Cool. Can't wait to see it in action.
can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So you are knocked out by the thief. I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck at the precise moment I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had actually entered the warehouse. No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or sewer pipes. My arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind.
She's like eight. Get a life. This bag, I'm sure it wasn't here before. What could be in there? Open it up. Wait a minute, we can't just open this. It's an important in investigation. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec. Whatever it is. Well, hello there. He's here. What are you doing, Sir Lawyer? I'm shocked to see that a servant of the court ignoring the law. I'm really sorry, Ma Maya made me do it. Nick, I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging around here? Savar's trial. Savar. Well, he said, the figure did so well, we'll be drunk. Prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial.
with that, I'll end this here. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.